the Babulus Pro Lithium FX Clippers. These are, you know, another clipper in the Lithium Ion Cordless Clipper race. And um, Babulus Pro, they've been doing a really good job promoting themselves. They're based in France. And I've been seeing them all over the country at the bar battles, the hair shows, and all that. And they're doing an, a phenomenal job, in my opinion, of promoting themselves. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do this unboxing. I'm going to tell you everything that I know about the clippers. Been using them for about a week now. And right off the bat, you can see, you know, the, the boxing is super high quality. Um, they they want to give a great first impression. I definitely see it in the packaging. And this pack is nice, man. They, they wrap the clipper up with plastic. Um, it comes with a carrying case, as you can see, with their branding, all the other important stuff. Ten guards, including the left and the right ear taper guards. And you can see how they look alongside of the Magic Clips. The Magic Clips are probably the leaders um, in the Lithium Ion race. Um, but you can see the size is very comparable. Let's hear how they sound. All right, so they definitely have two different type of sounds. I would say volume wise, they're very similar. Um, one thing I don't like about the, the Babyliss though is that on and off switch being all the way at the bottom. I turn my clippers on and off a lot um, and it's just very inconvenient being down there. The lever is one of the smoothest levers out there and you can see you can adjust these blades pretty damn close, closer than the masters. But this lever is super smooth. My only, you know, complaint would be the lever is too close to the body. So sometimes the, that top body top part of the body gets in the way of trying to get easily access that lever you can see it has a grip on the other side like a like a grip material and the cord is, the power cord is very high quality and they cut man they cut smooth they're very powerful like these are all around you buy a pair of these you probably wouldn't need um you know the, the detachable clippers because they're super powerful you know they they advertise a japanese steel blade these are the guards that come with it. Let's talk about guards. The guards okay. I see where they were going with it. It's different. Um, I probably won't use them. I played around with all the other guards, the popular guards, like the wall premiums, and they seem to snap on. They fit. Probably not as you know as well as on a wall clipper, but they definitely fit. You can cut with the wall guards, both of them, the plastic ones and the the premium ones. Plastic ones don't fit as well, in my opinion, but you can get the job done with them. And you can see I'm kind of messing with them. Showing you guys how they fit. You know, shaking the clipper, they're not going to come off or nothing. And to my surprise, the magnetic, the double magnets, I didn't try the single because I don't even think that's worth our time. But the double magnets, they fit. Now they do slide as you can see here, but I've been using them for a week now with the um, Andy's Magnet Guards and they've worked out. So all in all, I give these a thumbs up man. Um, I'm going to wait a while before I tell, I tell everybody that they're the best out there. I have messed up and all of a sudden, you know, two months later the battery goes out. So I want to wait a little bit longer, but as of right now. I like these over the magic clips as of right now I might change my mind don't hold me to it um, it has a 30 minute quick time charge they they stay charged the battery lasts 75 minutes I believe and um, you know I just I like the fact that they that they use the Andes guards I mean those are my favorite guards so um, we'll see if I change my mind you know we I don't think is enough we learned our lesson with the the Andes um, the Andes uh, slimline pros so I'm not gonna make the mistake with the with these, but overall, oh, and the quality of these clippers, they're built premium, but I guess the price reflects that, right? So, before I sign off though, I want to like point these out. I feel like the lever and the on and off button is in the perfect spot. Has anybody tried these? Like they're out in the U.S. and they don't seem to be new, so. Please comment below. Let me know if anybody's rocked out with these and let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe and share. See you guys in the next video.